Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Media True Nerd, and welcome back to Skyrim, where today we're going on what sounds like a rather important adventure. We're heading into the depths of a dwarven ruin in order to transcribe an Elder Scroll onto a lexicon to give to a mad guy who lives in an ice cube, because of course we are. You may notice I'm looking a little bit more, well not quite naked, but uh, I do have bare feet and bare hands at the minute, because yeah, if we're going on an adventure that big, I need to upgrade my equipment, damn it. So before we go... We are just quickly heading back up to Dragon's Ridge because, yeah, I've got some ideas for some new equipment up there. So, for my feet, I've been carrying around these lovely glass boots I found at some point. They have, well, you know, decentish armor next to anything else I'm going to have that's light armor. So, absolutely, we can do this. So, I do think they look a bit silly. I admit, I think the glass armor in this game looks silly, but whatever, I will go for it. Now, what are these things allowed to have on them exactly? They can have fortify one handed. On the feet, which, yeah, up to now, like, on my feet, I've had, I think, like, plus 7% one-handed. Then on my wrists, I had 25% one-handed, but that was on heavy armor, so I want to replace that. So, I could have one-handed on my feet again. And honestly, there's actually not a great number of things I could put on my feet. I mean, carry weight, but I don't really need that, to be honest. So, it's probably going to be one-handed, in which case... Let's look at the um, the gauntlets first. I've got these elven gauntlets I picked up somewhere, but I've also got these cultist gloves. And I feel like, you know, for one point of armor difference, gloves suit my kind of style a lot better. I'd say gloves go with my robes a lot more nicely. So I'd much rather have, you know, I'd sacrifice a point of armor, which is going to make no difference whatsoever, you know, to have something that looks a bit more snazzy, I'd say. Ah, but that can't have uh, fortify health either unfortunately, which is a shame. Fine. So, in which case, I'm probably just going to put... I could put Fortify Magicka on them, or I could just put Fortify One-Handed on everything. Ooh. Yeah, maybe I'll just go for Fortify One-Handed on both of these. How strong can I actually make this if I use a Grand Soul Gem? 25%. So, exactly as strong as what I already had there, 25%. On these here gloves, except these are light armor rather than heavy, which is nice. That means I can just slowly increase light armor, which at some point I'll probably get around to actually investing a little bit in the perk tree, as well as weighing a lot less. So I've saved a bit of carry capacity. Plus, it's all good crafting experience, damn it. But in which case, those there glass boots, I'd say probably they also just get fortified one handed, because uh, yeah, there's a real limited number of uh, enchantments you can actually put on boots, so that's fine, we'll probably just do that. Another Grand Soul Gem, 25% damage again, so yeah, that's gonna be a big step up in the amount of damage I'm doing with my one hand weapons. Very, very nice indeed. Uh, and while I'm just enchanting, those Elven Corners, I'll just sell them in a minute, therefore, we'll just put, hang on, we'll just go for a Common Soul Gem on them, uh, and the enchantment, whatever makes them most valuable. Looks like it's fortified carry weights to me. Let's get enchanting up to 67. Boom. Very, very nice indeed. So a little bit gaudy and colourful and none of it actually matches. But I would say, yeah, the cultist gloves do vaguely go with the look. The glass boots look ridiculous. And yeah, literally nothing matches right now. I'm the most ridiculously stupidly gaudy mage in the world. But never mind. So, Destination Alftand. Apparently the entry point I'm going to be needing. So, probably the closest thing is... Uh, Ops for caves right there. Looks like Sarthal's got a nice easy jog across the ice there. Oh, and we're straight in some trouble today. There's a flipping dragon floating around here. Okay, that's good, kind of. Right, and we've also got... Ooh, a giant. Good, 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 good. You can help me out with the dragon when it shows up. What's that? That's just iron ore. I know, by the way, it could be mining iron ore and then converting it with a transmutant, etc, etc. I just can't be flipping bothered and... Where'd that dragon go? Huh. Dragon Sergeant could be bothered either. Oh no, there he is! There he is, he's doing something over there! I'm just not quite sure who he's going for, and oh well, fine. No reason to pick a fight with him if he doesn't want to pick a fight with me. We'll just head in this direction. If he decides to catch up with us, that's fine. Ben or and Stormy can take care of it and I can watch. But first, we've got wolves to take care of, and yes, that's right. Protect, protect the lovely bunny rabbit. I was trying to... Oh, there we go. I do get to do a bit of a... Oh, yes. Very good indeed. Don't worry, bunny rabbit. You're safe. I bet a bunch of you are thinking I was immediately just going to mace that bunny because it would be funny as a joke. No, the bunny's safe. I'm protecting the bunny. I like the bunny. So around here, and this looks vaguely... Dwarfy. Is this the right way to go down this chasm? So yeah, this seems like it's probably about right. I think I've approached from the right angle here. 
by kind of coincidence. This looks about right at right ish when blatantly I'm supposed to be up there. Yes, fine, whatever. Yeah, when I say I've approached from the right angle, I've approached from completely the wrong flipping angle. Got it. So I need to get up top of can you get up top from yeah either angle would do it i could loop around i just need to basically get up top this here ice sheet and that dragon's still around somewhere in fact i think it's actually getting closer at this point the rumble pack's going off yeah there she is i think she's actually taking on a giant over there is her primary concern yep totally 100 percent more interested in a giant who's already given her a bloody face in fact but if she wants to come over here also a frost troll also a frost troll. I think that you're attacking a frost troll with frost spells. And I swear, it's not going to work for you. You know what? Stormy, get out of here just in case. Give her the odd clap if need be. Lovely. So now we've got a... Ooh, bouncing lightning. Very, very good indeed. Okay, Benor, do you want to do something? Also, who are you going for right now? Not me, right? Yeah, you are literally trying to frost a frost troll. I doubt that's going to work that well, to be perfectly honest. Let's get to... Nope, never mind. You've already moved on. How's your health doing, by the way? Probably not so hot. Now Stormy's going for that Frost Troll himself, and I don't know exactly where Benor's got himself to. He's just bloody somewhere around, probably. He's got himself stuck somewhere or other. You're just doing a nice big ice thing that's not going to... Are you coming for me now? Are you coming for me at this point? Oh, there's Benor! We found Benor. Good. All right, Ben or Benny, you can have some support. Ben or there we. Nope, never mind. I just tried to rally a dragon there. That better, Ben or are you feeling? Are you feeling good? Yeah, you've been wibbly wibbled. That's lovely. Okay, now, now we just need to finish off the dragon. Bring in a new Stormy. Just start going for everyone. Ben or can just get a couple of hits in. I can get a couple of hits in. Baha. Nope, I think I just missed him there. But I'd say, yeah, between Stormy and Ben, all this should be under control. Blood Dragon's not the worst thing in the world. Could be a Frost Dragon. Those are much worse, yes. And then you've just... That was one hell of a stupid dive bomb, but whatever. Oh, there's a second one over there. There's two flipping dragons. Ooh. Don't see that that often. Are you about to attack me? You are... Oh, yeah, you're just about to eat me. You're about to eat me. You're about to eat me. You're about to... Ben or... That other dragon's also getting worryingly closer. I don't want to fight two dragons at once. That might be a concern, actually. Yes. And down he goes. Took him a while. Just cause there's such a bloody wide area for him to land around here. Benno kept getting confused. So him taken care of. Let's get out of here before, yeah, that dragon over there bloody realizes where we are. We've got plenty of dragon souls right now. In fact, actually, I think that one's already fighting something up there. But yeah, if we just go up this gentle slope here, this should... Yes, here we go. This is about right, and at some point, these are more recent buildings. Someone's done some form of excavation here. Question is, when and why? Because for a while, this place is in ruins. And I doubt we're getting in here, though. No, not getting in here. Though tragically, if we could, we could just pull that lever. We could just skip straight to the end. But uh, sadly, sadly, we cannot. Round here then, and. Another campsite. Actual dead people. Very dead people. What killed all of you? Interesting. Okay, got all these buildings here. Must be one of you, I'm guessing. The game's implying I want to go in here. Where's the entrance? Here we go. Drop down onto there. If we can. Ah, right over there. Fine. There's a nice looping way down uh, right by this way. Good, good, good. Follow the flags. And this here will be our... Well, I assume this would be our entrance point. The game's vaguely pointing me in this direction, but... I don't see a way in. Ah, okay. This is where you want me to go. There we are. The Elf Tanned Glacial Ruins. In we go, then. So, bear in mind, what we're doing here is we're not actually exploring, we're just trying to get to the bottom of it to get to some gate that the thing I've been given will actually let us... Dwarven metalling got very nice indeed. Uh, yeah, the little musical sphere I've been given can open a gate at the bottom of this place, opening the way to Blackreach. So that's what we're actually here for. Question is, uh, what happened to the expedition that was clearly already looting this place? Because whatever it was, it would appear to have been violent and bloody. 
something very bad happened here, but we haven't found any source of what it was other than just... Yeah, there's a bunch of people dead, but what killed them? Because it feels like, yeah, a number of beds. This was a big expedition. So something very, very bad happened here. But quite a while ago, what? Necromancers? Possibly just animals? Trolls? Something like that? Where is it? I know you were trying to keep it for yourself, Tizar. You always try to keep it for yourself. No, there's got to be more school. Shut up! Shut up! Don't lie to me, Tizar. You hid it. Always try to steal it from me. Okay. There's a couple of Khajiit around here. Worrying about hidden skooma and betraying each other for skooma. Probably not the most dangerous thing in the world, to be honest. Wherever they are, exactly. Still, no sign of them yet. In fact, no sign of anything at all yet. There's just... Death and snow here. Now, by any chance... Ooh, hello. This seems potentially of use. Yes, one... Petty soul gems and corpses with empty soul gems and all sorts of good stuff like that. Yes, every flipping time. But the research notes is where this potentially gets a bit interesting. Couple of notes on the construction of the spiders, but I thought I just saw something moving beyond the barred door. Looked vaguely humanoid. Fine. We're probably going up against Falmer at this point. That's okay with Muffle and Sneak Attacks, and now with a more powerful Mason one-handed, should be able to one-shot all of those with Sneak Attack. So that probably answers our question, what happened to all these guys? Probably Falma. Though, as far as I can tell, no way to open this by the looks of things. Yeah, we might be cutting back this way later. Presumably there'll be a switch to the other side. This will be a shortcut back to the beginning. Alright, no need to worry about that. Let's go find these Khajiit brothers and their obsession with Skooma in that case. Run to either dwarves or flipping all. Hello? Hello, we've got- Ah! Flipping spiders! Screw you! Screw you! Screw you! Screw you! Screw you! Okay, gotta be a bit more careful with that. Benor, where were you there? Benor, excuse me. Um, oh, you're dealing with one of them back here. Okay, fair enough. Luckily for you, I like having the opportunity to practice my fast healing. It's good for restoration, but still, Benor, next time, just keep up, please. So I feel like we're looping back around to close to where we began, which would make sense. That means we can catch up with the Khajiits we actually heard earlier. Wherever they are, precisely. What? Who is this, brother? Another of the smooth skins looking for food? This one doesn't come to us. Hmm? Hello there. Oh, oh, wait, hang on. No, wait, wait, why would you attack me? Why would you attack me? Don't go for me, you bastard. All right, fine, whatever. He decided to go for two heavily armed people and a Storm Atronach with a Woodcutter's Axe. Marvellous. Well done, you. I just wanted to talk. Just wanted to have a nice chat, but no, you are to try and murder me. Well, whatever. So this guy's already dead, quite possibly killed by this guy because of, yeah, the obsession with Skooma. Possibly Skooma withdrawal when it all ran out. Sadly, he didn't actually have any Skooma on his body. You were mistaken. Empty Skooma bottle times seven, dear. Oh, dear. Yeah, possibly that guy just went mad from skooma withdrawal. That is entirely feasible. So down we go further into here. And we've got more. Ah, I love it when these things have already been taken care of for me. Loads of soul gems. And a journal here as well. Fine, tell me more about this place if possible. So people were slowly going missing. We found blood leading to the barred off doorway. Fine. Absolutely has to be Falmer, surely. And apparently we're close by to the Animoclery, where the dwarves would produce their automatons. Ooh, a dwarven spider factory. That's pretty damn cool. So basically this expedition wasn't going well in various ways. <laughs> various ways it was going very, very not well. And we know from that diary that somewhere around here there's like a dwarven sphere factory and it's still active and guarded. Ooh, I like this room. This is cool. Right. Prepare to summon a new thing. There we go. Yep, knew you'd be showing up there, Dwarven Spit. No, not me. Not flipping me. Go for some... Oh, two at a time. Well, that's just flipping harsh. Well, that's fine. We'll just focus our attention on one of you and... Still not doing that much damage. These guys are pretty tough. Okay, I'm guessing they're leveling with me, aren't they? Yes, you know what? Actually, no, we're doing a pretty good job against you. You are already up to... Oh, did I accidentally summon a... I accidentally summoned a Frost Atronach. Well, that's fine. Frost Atronach, no, no, oh no, 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 no. Balls, they turned their attention to me. 
Okay, stay back. Let Benno do the work. Say, let Benno do the work. Benno's actually in a uh, bit of trouble here. Well, that's fine. Let's get Heal Arthur out together with some rally. So now a quick, yep, there's a quick rally for Benno. Now we just need to keep him alive. And let Stormy do some. Get out of the way, you. I'm trying to heal Benno. Bloody hell. Right, go for you as well. And stay still, Bet Benno. Benno, there we go. Ooh, ben oh, no, Benno's in a lot of trouble. Benno's in a lot of trouble. Benno's in a lot of trouble. Stormy, 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 help me. That will temporarily stun you long enough for me to get Benno back up on his feet and give him a bit of healing. There we go. And now that Dwarven Sphere goes down and Benno will immediately regenerate all his health. Beautiful. And hopefully we'll get some nice... Ooh, not even a soul gem on you, bastard. Great soul gem empty on that guy, though. That makes it all worthwhile. Yeah, makes sense now. There's all sorts of, yes, yeah, soul gems and plates and cogs. Uh, these things were constructed uh, like that. Ben, or don't, don't stand right there. That's a very silly place for you to stand. Also, there's Wibbly Air here. In a Bethesda game, Wibbly Air is never good, and neither is that their pipe. That pipe is never good either. I'm watching you, you... I knew it! I knew it! I flipping knew it! Screw you! <laughs> Thank you, Ben. Oh, let's just finish these guys. I like spiders better. Spiders are fine. Spiders are a nice way for me to grind up my one hand and then restoration once it's all over. Also, this room is totally not done kicking my ass yet, is it? And if it's not, that's fine because I can just set all this oil on fire, but... No one rushing in just yet. Seems to be under control for the time being. Uh, that'll be the main way to go then. And this will probably be locked up. Yep, just crack that open. Lock picking goes up too. Better and better. Loads of dwarven stuff. Nice. Ooh, a depth chest. First time. Beautiful. Got myself up. That's exactly the same stuff I just sold back in town. Got rid of them for my current gloves. All right, fine. I'll pick them up again in order to sell that. Guardian circle. Situation it could be useful. So we're just slowly looping round to all. Oh, we're just slowly looping round to the top here. And you are totally a little spider. There we are. Just wake you up for a second. And boom. Stagger you. Go down nice and quickly. Very, very nice indeed. You go over there. Finish off whatever's over there. We've got... No, that's not a door. That's just a... Ow! Flip! Okay, fine. Fine. I walked into the obvious flipping trap. Whatever. Also, so we need to keep an eye on, uh, Benor, your axe. How's the charge on that, by the way? Because I need to recharge that for you, potentially. And it is... Actually, you know what? Could do with a little update while I think about it. Let me just borrow that for a second, Benor. One great soul gem just to top that up. Lovely. You can have that back now. You, you no longer need to fight with a pickaxe and a torch. Just a couple of storerooms and treasure rooms here. Make sure we don't accidentally walk straight past them. Admittedly... Vigorous healing, all right. Minus stamina, I should probably just start leaving behind. Because <laughs> I'm just going to get rid of it later. It just fills up useless, useless inventory space. So, leave that be. Nothing and something, but... Is this the actual way we want to go? Nope, this will be a side room then. But a side room that contains a sphere beautifully. Right, back off. Okay, good. I know it's being attacked by Benor, so everything's under control in that case. It's now somewhere around here. Lovely. And nice power attack. And down it goes. Right, now what were you guarding? Because a locked room with an actual guard in it. That's probably something quite useful. Ooh, a chest. Come on. Ooh. Okay. That's interesting. Uh, Benor, right now you have got... Hang on, your armor is what? Plus health? Plus how many armor points? 47 armor and 22 points of health on top of that. So, yeah, okay. That's nowhere near as good. I mean, heavy armor skill is nice to have. And that is one of the skills companions are actually allowed to have. But I think we're okay for the time being there. Do I want to take that just to sell it, though? Uh, 35 times. That's about... Yeah, that's a good 60, 70 times multiplier. We will take that and give that to Benor. And yes, he's decided not to put it on. Good for him. I think his current arm is better anyway. Still, we can sell that later. Good amount of money there. And now we are... Ah! Now we're above that room I was in earlier. 
And I can avoid these nice simple things, but Benor's not going to. Benor's going to get himself pushed off. Benor, 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 you're standing right in the... Never mind, he managed to avoid getting pushed off there. Well done, Benor. Right, just jump over the top, please. Uh, just there we go, just... Go! Oh, I shouldn't have done that, but ouch! Ow! Oh, flip! Screw you! Screw you! Screw you! Screw you! Screw you! And dead. Lovely. Benor's probably fallen down by now. Yeah, Benor will have totally 100% fallen down. That's fine. But that's okay, because he's caught up now. Well done, Benor. Second time is indeed a charm. And apparently, this is where we wanted to... Oh, hang on. If this is where we wanted to go... Oh! This whole area wasn't the building area. That's this O. Benor, apparently we're going into an area with many, many more automatons than we previously saw here. That's going to be fun. So this is now, yeah, the area where they make these things. And that probably means it's going to be swarming with the bastards. Now, good question is, when are they going to start? Well, there's our first one right over there. Toss a Storm Atronaut right in front of him. Keep him busy for the time being. Get in there. Get some one-handed work on you. Oh, yeah. I feel like now this mace, this mace is doing some lovely, lovely work at the minute. Very, very good indeed. And then we've got ourselves... Oh, oh, hang on. No, 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 no. I know what to do to you. I know what to do to you. I was slightly too late. Bloody hell. Right, never mind. If you want to just step backwards, that'd be really appreciated. Right, help out, but help out from a distance here. And just keep tossing some destruction magic at him. There we go. Helped out a little bit. I should probably take... I don't think I've actually taken... Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I haven't taken Apprentice Destruction perk yet. I should do that just so I can toss in fire bolts and lightning bolts very, very cheaply. Just to, you know, provide a little bit of long-range support. Because right now, honestly, it feels like it's not that powerful. I should just stick with one-handed. One-handed is better. Ah, but there's a sign of something to come. Egg sacks. We have got egg sacks, so uh, we've got those horrible little buggy bastards coming up too. As well as a blatant trap, Benor, don't trigger the... Okay, fine. Thanks, Benor. That may have been me as well, to be honest. Okay, what if I just stick to... Oh, yeah, if I stick to this side, then just get past it before Benor triggers the trap, inevitably. Okay, Benor avoided triggering the trap that time. Oh, but now we're trapped in a corner with you bastards. That's fine, you can go down. Just a basic spider. Lovely. Sorry, I think that was me. Didn't mean to hit you there. No harm, no foul. And now, activate the lever. Get to the next area. Ooh, okay. Into a great big... Ooh... Okay, starting at the top, working down, I like this. Yes, hello over there, by the way. I'm just going to trap you in a corner with Stormy, just to draw your attention. Oh, you're going for me instead? Oh, fine, screw you then. So now we just work our way down here then, I suppose. Just slowly down, find some enemies to murder, murder them, all that good. Oh, Falma. That is a Falma-style thing right there. Okay, we've got our first... And I'm guessing that's a Falma that just... No, never mind. It was just a spider worker. Okay. It's just I'm not very good at spotting them. Screw you. Screw you. Dead. And Benor, don't fall off the side, please. Benor wants to tear something to pieces. Do we know what he wants to tear to pieces? What's... He's just run down there. Benor, I don't think we were actually jumping down there yet, actually. I think you've, you've gone a bit... All right, fine. You know what? I'm going to leave him to it. I'm just going this way, which is the way we're clearly supposed to go. Or not, because this is actually apprentice locked, and normally the actual way forward isn't locked behind a, a lock. But that's to basically assume to no one be able to figure out the lock picking, because they never put important things behind even apprentice locked doors. Yep, as I suspected, this looks like just a side room with a couple of chests in it. Including anything... Ooh, another paralysis. Oh, I really need to make one of those. I've actually got the paralysis spell right now. I totally need to actually make... A paralyzing weapon, so I can just have it in my secondary hand if need be. Yeah, I need to get around to that. I keep forgetting. Now, this is interesting, however. That looks like... Well, I'd say it looks like a human skeleton, but I don't know if that's supposed to be potentially a dwarven skeleton, but dwarves are supposed to be not looking like us, right? They look a bit different. Well, actually, I suppose all the other elves run into, all the various other Bosma and all that, they look pretty humanoid. I guess that could just be a dwarven skeleton right there. Man, it's a skeleton, all right. Got some gold on it. The locked room. That is, I'm assuming, a lock-picking book I've already found. So there's a skeleton. 
Skeleton inside a locked room with a book called The Locked Room. Marvellous. And he's also just sitting here with... Ooh. A master locked chest. Well, I can hardly resist trying to do that. As well as... Ooh, just a potion behind the helmet there. Okay, I'm in vaguely the right spot. It's somewhere around this spot over here. Gotcha. Beautiful. This better be worth it. A fairly useless but at least valuable hide shield of minor blocking. Do I have a scrap metal? 200 gold, a petty soul gem, silver garnet ring, steel dagger worth taking to sell, circles of restoration, okay but not spectacular again just for selling, and some scaled boots. I feel disappointed in general. So it appeared this was the right way to go. Benor just basically got ahead of me here. Alright, fine, whatever we've got. Ooh, hello. You're named. Right, who are you exactly? Uh, we don't know. But you're a named guy. You don't see a journal. I guess you were part of the expedition. They must have just got, yeah, too far ahead then cut off by the dwarves. Killed by... There's totally a better way down over here, isn't there? No, I thought that was a... Uh, let's just trigger that by the way. No, I thought that was like a lever up there. But no, it was just a thing. Uh, just a chest. That's fine. Uh, in which case, how do we safely get down to the next level? Because down seems to be what we need to do. We just need to find the right places to... It seems like a pretty safe place to drop. And also, where the bloody hell's Ben? Or... Oh, there he is! He seems to be engaged in a long-running fight with some Falmer over there. Oh, no, no, he's not. Oh, yes, he is. It's just he was um badly injured. Okay, well, that's fine. Stormy, you can finish that off for a second while I help out Benor. Just, Benor, you just stay there for one second. We'll get you up on your feet, all right? And Benor! There we are. You're very welcome, Benor. On your pop. Right. So, at this point, we are most definitely into, yeah, Falmer territory. Good, good, good. It looks like, yeah, we just need to keep going down in the long run. Though I imagine that's, uh... Do you like to turn off by any chance? Do you like to turn off? I wish I had a glue gun. If I had a glue gun right now, that would make life so much easier. There we go. I'm guessing this is just another store. Ooh. This isn't just a storeroom. There's Falma there. Okay, hang on. Don't worry. We've got this. Ben Orm, stay back. This is Falma. I can do this. Go on ahead. I'll stand guard. Yeah, whatever you need to tell yourself to make yourself feel actually useful, Ben. All right. Muffle. There we go. There we go. You just go over there and then hold still. And dead in one. And how did you just detect me? How did you... Well, probably I shouldn't have yelled hurrah while I was actually swinging. But never mind. We managed to get one of them down. Conjuration in that. Keisha, I guess they were too close together. So he, like, heard the sound of me swinging or whatever. So now we can just... Oh, yeah, you're just a basic. With someone to distract you, you are screwed, my good person. Lovely. And yep, whole bunch of skeletons here. So pretty much confirmation. At least some of the killing and kidnapping was indeed being done by these bastards. More to go yet, though. More Falma, more all sorts, and ooh. Okay. Kind of notice you're very, very stupidly sitting on a patch of oil in a room with lots and lots of flames. So that's, um, clever on your part. So, Falma number one. Go up to you, and... No, no, no. How did you just detect me, or semi-detect me? How did you just do that? Okay, never mind. Back away. Let's just... Actually, you know what? They've all decided to stand on top of the oil right now. <laughs> I think this works for me. We'll just quickly set all that on fire. Light armor goes up. Cast myself a nice little rear guard. Let them come to me a little bit more. If they want to keep coming this way, then you know what? Guys, you can just be on fire more. And on fire more. And on fire more. And on fire more. And just get my destruction up too. You go ahead Finish off the last one, please. Uh, and how are you doing over there? You are another basic one. That's fine. They're just going to keep walking backwards and forwards into the flames. Like, if you're blind, living in the room where the flames turn on and off, terrible idea. And one fireball to kill them all. Beautiful. Nice dramatic death there. Actually, question. Can I just use the steadfast ward to... I can. I can just use the steadfast ward to walk through the jets of fire. That's really cool. 
probably, however, time to go and pick up Ben or just block the flames and block the flames. Lovely. Actually, are you allowed to grind uh, restoration doing that? Oh, no, it gets burnt off pretty quickly. So you can't just do that indefinitely. That's a shame. So could I just stand in front of those flames with that steadfast ward and just do that forever? Because that'd be hilarious. Right, let's go and get Ben, having literally done his job for him. And at the end of this little section, yeah, more skeletons, more blood. These guys are definitely kidnapping the expedition one by one, as well as, uh, in all fairness, like pretty much anything they could get their hands on. They just basically stole anything. They're just hoarding. They're just hoarders. Interesting. Scroll of Cure Wounds. That sounds bloody useful, potentially. And yeah, this leads me back outside. But in that room I was just in, there was a, a lever powering what appeared to be a lift. So, ah, this will be a shortcut back out. This will be one of the two shortcuts I saw earlier, presumably, right? Yes, indeed, just as I thought. This is the area I saw before. So crack that open. That is now a shortcut back to the beginning in case, yeah, this area takes a while. You need to go and top up supplies. Yeah, this is, this is quite a big old area, I won't deny. Fine, back down we go. Now, Ben Orp, stay here for a second. There's more of them up ahead, and I can handle these by myself, and it's good for my sneak and also for my one-handed, and also for my general feeling of well-being, because I'm such a damn badass. And muffle up. It's also good for my illusion. Muffle's very, very good for illusion, damn it. So, down we go. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky murder. You're... You're already dead for whatever reason. I guess Ben or killed you earlier or something. Oh, you had two ears on you. That makes sense, yes. Surprisingly large numbers of Falmer with clearly intact heads with two ears only have one ear on them. It's very, very odd indeed. Right, okay. Now just... There we go. You are... Ooh, interestingly, the spider seems to be on their side. Okay. Odd, but whatever. Right. Toss the Storm Atronach back over there just to buy me some time and then I'll just go and grab Benor because we probably need him for this but there we are Benor's now getting involved good 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 but actually no no guys guys wait this is gonna be oh guys I was about to toss him off the cliff it would have been hilarious boo now there's one magic -y one over here don't worry we can do something with him there we are just knock him into a corner and then while he's getting up we can do a whole bunch of good work to him lovely so we finally made it to the bottom of that massive room. And I suppose technically there would be nothing to stop me just basically saying, screw it, I'm just going to throw myself to the bottom of that room. That's blatantly a trap. Nobody, nobody walk into the trap. Okay? No one walk into the blatantly obvious trap, please. Thank you. Yeah, I'm guessing this here will be... Yep, this looks like it. Here we are. Ooh, the cathedral. I like the sound of that. That sounds really badass. There's something in here, because I just saw the eye wibble for just a second. Let's tell it. Okay, there's traps in here. For one, almost got my face sliced off there. Oh wait, hang on, I left Benno behind because I didn't put him back onto follow me mode. Yeah, he was just planning to basically stand here forever, just looking into this corner. Benno, it's fine, you can follow me again. Now, avoid the obvious traps. Benno, you too, please. And we've got... Ah! We've got you! No, 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 no. Someone just take care of him, please. There we go. Lovely. Right, more Falma yet. They've also got the flipping cathedral infested. Lovely. Now, this cathedral, we've got... Ooh! Ooh, this is nice. I approve of this. Oh, yeah. This is really, really damn cool. You know what Ben Offer wants? You're right. This is kind of wow, yes. This is very, very nice indeed. Now, hang on. Just need to do some sneaking here. Benno. Benno, 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 Benno. Stay here for just a second. I'm going ahead to be a badass. Illusion goes up to 45. You are right there. And no, no. Gosh damn it, Stormy. Right, let's just finish you off nice and quickly. And you completely failed on the shout there. It completely fluffed. Just finish off you, stupid little mage with your stupid little staff. You're dead, lovely. I entirely blame Stormy for that one. Stormy just ruined that moment of badassery for me. Ah, but up top here, there's a lever. Ah, okay. Didn't need that though, because yeah, there's a path up by those huts there. I could have taken as well. So yeah, there's options around here. So now we can get up here. 
up the main way and ooh, this is nice. This is really, really da- uh oh. Oh yeah, should have seen that one coming. Okay, so we've got a flipping one of you. Stormy, this is the first time I've got it. Oh, blimey. Right, heal, and when we say fast heal, like seriously, fast heal right now. Fast heal so much. Uh, right, where's Benor? Because Benor needs to be rallied and then healed like crazy. There we go, right. So, basically, I'm just on rallying and healing duties right now. I can also mark for death. That's useful. So, now just quickly go over to... No, not me. Not me, not me. There we are. Rally Benor. And now he just needs to be kept alive as far as possible. Uh, the Centurion actually seems to be struggling a little bit here. But I know for a fact his breath attack's ludicrous. So, I just need to... Nothing's... No, nothing is behind me. Everything's fine. And the Centurion's actually in trouble. Ooh, nice. Okay. That actually went pretty darn well. And, oh, Benor with a giant axe pretty much in the Centurion groin. Nice. Well flipping done, Benor. Well flipping done indeed. Glass arrow, some stuff, dynamo core. Weighs a bit, can't be bothered. I swear I need those at some point for something, but I can't remember what. So, actually, you know what? I'll take it. I'll give it to Benor. He can just keep it. And a key to the lift. Marvellous. Now, for those... Oh, oh, hello. Of course you want me to leave. Just waiting for me to turn my back, so you can have all the glory for yourself. Never should have- Benor, don't get involved with this, whatever this is. Benor, what the bloody hell? Who are you two? Right, fine, well let's just toss in some help for Benor, and yeah, there we are. Giant monstrosity from hell. That'll help out with you, and apparently you guys are just here. Okay, fine. And we've- Got a nice thing on you. You are pretty tough, but enough whacking between me and Ben will do the job for you, you stupid whoever you are. And oh, I think someone might have stabbed me there. No, someone knocked me. What the heck just happened there? Right, let's try this again. Because in here, just hidden at the back, there's just a couple of people. So I'm just going to toss a Storm Antrenac over there. And as soon as they decide to turn hostile, it can just get involved together with Benor. Although I'd imagine they want to attack each other, right? I mean, they clearly were talking like they wanted to attack each other, but now they're not... Alright, fine, whatever. Yeah, they are going for each other. Good, good, good. It's just now Benor's sort of going for both of them too, and everything's fine. You know what? Just let them handle each other for a bit. <laughs> I'm guessing, like, you know, you're a... Ooh! Are you, are you okay? No, you're very dead. I'm not sure exactly what happened to you. You died awfully there. Right, Imperial sort of fatigue. You don't need to bother with that. And then we've just got you. There we go. Just get on the side of her. Knock her to the ground. And now we can get a couple of nice, easy hits on her. Stagger her a bit. Down she goes. Okay, who exactly are you two? So we've got... Ooh. Okay, that's cool. Not for me, but that's seriously badass. When bashing three points of bleed damage, five, actually, that's not much. That's really not much damage, to be honest. But still, it's kind of cool. I might keep that just because it's cool. So, yes, obviously, I can see here, we've got this thing, which is now a shortcut outside again, one of the ones we saw earlier. And for those people who actually have, yes, the mechanism, activate this here, dwarven mechanism, why the hell not, eh? Pop in that... That now does, ooh, opens up a nice secret way forward uh, down to Blackreach. All right, you know what, ladies and gentlemen, I would say that is enough for now. And I want to very quickly nip back to town <laughs> because, uh, yeah, actually, I imagine there's quite a bit of stuff in Blackreach. It's pretty damn big and me and Ben are pretty much awake capacity. So there's a bunch of good stuff I want to sell back in town. Next time, we will be heading down these steps into Blackreach to try and find a flipping Elder Scroll. Blimey, that sounds pretty damn cool indeed. So, that's coming up soon. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd, and this has been Skyrim. Thank you very much, and goodbye. No, sadly, I cannot be the Santa Claus of murder tonight. So apparently, even though this thing is... Oh, no, no, you can't. No, you most certainly can't. Okay. Is that the symbol meaning I'm about to pull her over? Yep, there we are. There we... Ooh! I feel like she didn't necessarily survive that. No, she's very dead.